Ace, Gunjib here, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Um, it's pelting it down outside, uh, which makes it brilliant for playing Skyrim today, to be honest. And I thought we'd go for a nice little walk in the country. Um, my plan is we're going to head from Kynesgrove, following the road, uh, down to uh, this place here, Shore Stone, as so we're going to pick up a ore sample uh, from the mine there. For the owner, for the owner's wife at uh, Elgrim's Elixir. Sorry, I'm just useless with names in, in Skyrim. <laughs> so I just use uh, the simple stuff like um, wife of the X or Y. <laughs> so we're going to do that because based on my ideas now, to start doing as many rifting quests as I can, so that we can get Honeyside. Um, just to do something different, I'd like to have Honeyside as my home, uh, mainly because apart from and and alchemy desk like we have in a uh, breeze home in white run we also get the chance to have an arcane enchanter and the tanning rack so that means we can do a lot of preparation work in our home uh, like we did basically the dark brotherhood uh, but for now that's enough rambling uh, let's get it done so um yeah um let's get to the inn whoops don't mind me now there's tons of dragon's tongue and creep cluster on this route as well. I'm also going to check for salt pile because I stupidly used up a lot of salt pile making food. And I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about the whole food crafting side of Skyrim, but personally, I don't think the benefits are that great compared to using that salt pile in potions of slow, for example. Which even if you're not going to use them in combat, uh, potions of slow are actually worth a heck of a lot if you sell them um, so yeah I don't really tend to am I on the right path? I think so oops I'm only going to two craze as well I'm just going to pick up ingredients if they're actually you know, in my face um, I'm not going to go too far off the beaten path. And yeah, we're just basically going to follow this road and see what happens. We'll probably get jumped by a couple of creatures, uh, which is good because I need pelts. And yeah, it's kind of a good idea to, you know, catch up on things, really. Um, and I hope you guys really are enjoying this series. And um, I know it's been a bit over the place I mean you know this is a real walkthrough um, I'm not blindly playing this game um, you know I, I do dry runs before I record to try out new quests see if we're actually able to do them or not because I'm playing on legendary um, I haven't changed the, the difficulty setting at any time and uh, you know there are some quests that you think are quite easy because on master they were I try it on legendary and it's just you know just get pwned so you know, I do try to. I also try to see what's going to help us as a character. Um, you know, to give us things that might help us, uh, and also show you guys useful stuff. Now, that's tempting. That looks like a thief. Yep, it is. It's a thief. So before he gets over here, let's get ready for him. So paralysis potion. Yeah, it should be it. Alright, hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. Gut me like a fish? I really don't think so. Uh, I could use this one, that's, which uh, normally works. Uh, do I look like anyone? Oh, no, you don't. But I'd rather die. Then I guess that is your last request, fool. Ah! Oops, yeah, helps if you actually have arrows equipped. So the problem with when you sell arrows, you then suddenly magically unequip them. So come on, guy, get close. Sleep. And die. Got some nice glass armor, actually. Which is going to be ours soon. There we go. That's what you get for trying to rob me, biatch. So let's see what else he had. Flawless diamond. That's the result. Uh, not as much gold, so it's not that successful. I will take all this lovely glass armor. And be on a merry way. Now, I did see a mammoth as well. So that 
interesting because I need the uh, the souls. So fortified marksman for this one. Potion of slow as well. I don't see any giants. But I do see a big red dot. Oh, he's got a friend. Excellent. I didn't see that. Two mammoths for the price of one. Perfect. If I can hit him, it would be good. <laughs> Excellent. This is why I love exploring sometimes in Skyrim. Just because you never really know what's going to happen. I mean, we got attacked by a thief. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, which is kind of nice and yeah let's let's get on with it so uh, we're just following oh crap definitely loving these glass arrows as well they seem to be a bit more powerful than my dwarven dwarven ones now that's the giant's camp so hopefully the giants aren't going to be too miffed that I just took out his mammoth and that sounded like a dragon over in the distance as well but I don't know another thing I've noticed with legendary I don't know if it's just me is that dragons are real pains in the ass now because sometimes I'll just fly around menacingly but not actually commit to attacking you or they'll attack you and then when you get them to about half damage when they're just at the point where they should uh, land they'll suddenly fly off and see something else that's more interesting than you to attack which is kind of annoying but oh, never noticed that before. Official warning. Attending citizens, the giants here has been given leave to keep his camp. Please do not attempt to make trade. Disrupt the mammoth. <laughs> never noticed that before. <laughs> nice little touch. Obviously, someone didn't heed the advice, which is good for us because it means free stuff. Oh. I thought it was a giant. This Kajit trader, poor guy. Just gonna raid him. Loot the chest. Pick up these books. Snowberry is excellent. And that's that's it. So back to the road we go. Who are these? Oh, they're storm cloaks. So I'm gonna leave them alone. Um, ooh, I'm not gonna leave him alone though. Hello. Another pelt to add to my collection. And a soldier. All good. Now I'm actually going to wait till daytime just because I can't see what I'm doing when I'm looking for potions. So one second. That's much better. And I need to keep to the road as well. Um, but yeah, so this is just us taking a nice little stroll through Skyrim, uh, hunting our way. Um, now another thing I was thinking about as well, because uh, like I was saying before, while it is kind of a real walkthrough in that I, I am actually, you know, I'm not playing blind uh, when I go into each dungeon and things uh, or do each quest. I am actually doing dry runs beforehand to try and get it right for you guys. The same with the crafting and the potions. Ooh, silver. Sweet. But another thing I have noticed um, as I've been editing these videos is um, it's kind of a bit haphazard how I approach the the quest. Ooh. There we go, another pelt. Sorry, a bear. Thank you. Actually, while we're at it, let's get Kane's piece. Yeah, I'm going to start using that a little bit as well. Just gets fun. 
Um, yeah, it's a bit haphazard. And I've also noticed, um, like when I was selling the potions before, if I'd have started doing that earlier instead of going crazy, crafting potions like a madman. Um, now, if you go there, you go to Anisvold, which was a great dungeon. That's definitely uh, for the Robes of Replenishing. That was a perfect dungeon. And also Ghostblade, uh, which I'm now sporting. Um, but yeah, the thing is, if I'd have been crafting on the fly, as it were, not just saving it all up to the last minute, it would have been a hell of a lot easier to sell these potions I was making. Um, because they wouldn't have been worth as much. Meaning that I could have sold them quite easily to the traders, because traders just don't have that much money at the moment. And the other thing as well is I noticed that um, I didn't really take advantage of the gear that's given to you quite early in the game. For example, if you get over to the Dragon, uh, the Dark Brotherhood, um, you know there's some really kick-ass archery gear that could help your character early on. Um, and I kind of didn't really take much advantage of those. And as a result, my character now, you know, I've got the Dragon gear. I'm, I've got ebony armor right now, but uh, I kind of Whoops, what the hell? Please. Oh, another wolf. Help, thank you. Oh, we leveled something up, but I'm not sure what it was. Oh, what the hell? You are kidding, go. You wanna go? <laughs> right straight at me. Now, is that friend or foe? No idea, so I'm just going to save one second. Okay. Can I speak to him? Don't go setting the place on fire, okay? <laughs> Everyone says that to me recently. Uh, oh, excellent. Speechcraft trainer. Ah, well, after a little incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent thane, well, let's just say best not. Hmm, interesting. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. Ah, uh, yeah, chances are it's too high. Good day. My speech crashed too high for him to actually help me out. Uh, but yeah, what, was, what I was thinking of doing, um, I really need to know what you guys think about this. Um, as you know, this is going to be a Stormclug playthrough with all the DLCs. So I've been using the crafting of um, arrows quite heavily as part of my game plan to make money. And also craft up, um, craft up my smithing. Because uh, it does a heck of a lot. I and mean, it really, you know, it, it's better than um, leather braces. It's better than iron daggers for leveling up. What was that? Ooh, excellent. More pelts. One. There's the other one. But what I was thinking of doing um, is starting a new character, because I've always played, to be fair, um, as a red guard, not really experimented with other races. And I was thinking of maybe doing a new playthrough from scratch on legendary difficulty as the wood elf um because they're mainly archers and they go more for the light armor root kind of thing this is kind of a hybrid red guard he does a bit of everything um but the thing is what i was thinking of doing is apart from obviously the things that i can't escape for example when the cultists attack for dragonborn and also you know when the vampires attack in dawn guard there's not like i can do about that because uh, on console it doesn't let you kind of activate it for one playthrough and disactivate the DLC for another. It's either there or it's not. Um, I was thinking of maybe starting a new playthrough, um, but doing it in a bit more controlled fashion. So what I mean by that is, you know, going directly through the quest lines. Um, starting with the Dark Brotherhood, obviously. Then going through the Thief's quest. And then actually we can start doing the other stuff that's... Um, is, that, is that a troll? That's no, too far away, I think. But yeah, uh, tell me what you think in the con in the the comments below. Would you like to see a vanilla playthrough of Skyrim, where basically what I do is I'm not going to craft any arrows. Uh, the only arrows I'm going to be using are the ones I pick up on my travels. Um, 
and just do it that way. Now, just a quick note, if you go there, that's uh, Mist Watch, which is a random quest you'll get at some point when you'll see a scared woman or guy running through the uh, countryside. And he'll tell you that some bandits in Mist Watch, which is just there, um, who are basically slave trading. Um, but we're not going to go there just now, we're just going to carry on this, this side of the road and get our way to, um, to Shaw's Tour. But yes, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you be interested in seeing a vanilla playthrough? Um, I'm mainly thinking about it uh, for guys who don't actually have the DLC, who haven't paid for the DLC, but they have Skyrim. Um, you know, we'll do it on Legendary, just so that you can see that it isn't as scary as it first makes out. Um, the problem is the methodology at the beginning is probably going to be the same, but what I'm going to try and do is as soon as possible... Oh, a little wabbit is uh, go for the Dark Brotherhood quest lines just to get the the gear that they... Oh, crap. I'll take the bed out first because it's a bigger risk. What's the bigger risk? Ah, sweet. We are just cashing in on soul gems right now. Um, and yeah, just just let me know. Would you be interested in seeing something like that? Um, again, playing with a different character. The style of play is going to be pretty much the same, just because I think on Legendary, Archery is the way to go. But I'm going to try and be a bit more stealthy as well. Um, maybe use a dagger instead of a sword, that kind of thing. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but yeah, how, how are we doing for time? I think we're coming up to about 17 minutes now, so hopefully we can find this damn village. Um, and uh, I'll call it, call it there. But yeah, I mean, it's something I'm quite interested to do as well. Um, for another reason as well, just see how many episodes it takes me to get to the same point I am right now. Obviously, um, going the Imperial route. And because I know for a fact that it does change the game quite significantly um, if you play, if you side with the Stormcloaks or the Imperials. Not so much in what you have to do, it's more on which towns you're going to have to take down. Um, so, not to give too much away, but as a Stormcloak, I'm going to be taking down Win, uh, Win, uh, White Run at some point, which is kind of annoying because that's what I have on my stuff. Wow! This is excellent. So many pelts. So little time. Okay, the bears just done me a job. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck up, man. Give me a pelt. Uh, waste not, want not. More pelts. All good. Um, but yeah, we're coming up to overrunning this video, actually, so um, I'm just going to call it here, I think. We're quite close to where we're supposed to be, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're just going to go around the corner and we're pretty much at Shaw Stone. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for listening to me as I ramble on. <laughs> We've definitely, I mean, this is a great route just from Kynesgrove if you want to get leather quickly um, because we've got, how many have we got now? Should have quite a few pelts. Uh, how many? One? Four? Five? Seven? Nine? Nine pelts, so that's pretty decent. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to call it here. Catch you on the next episode where we finally make it to uh, Shore Stone. We pick up the, um, the sample and we'll also do a quick little mission where we have to clear out a mine of uh, frostbite spiders and at the bottom of the mine there's also uh, some ebony ore just um, screaming for us to go mine and yeah um, I'll catch you next episode like I say please leave in the comments below whether you'd like to see um, a more concise um, playthrough of uh, Skyrim based on the vanilla so apart from it means I won't have my dragon boat it's a bit of a shame so I'll have to go this for a daedric boat uh, which is the best bow you can actually get in the game non uh, dragon uh, non 
uh, Dawn Guard DLC. So we could do it like that. Uh, I won't be able to craft any arrows. So the only way we're going to have to get smithing to 100 is the old leather braces, uh, iron dagger root, or just making jewellery. Um, and yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, for now though guys, as I said, uh, thanks for watching. Take care. And above all, peace.